Hi everybody, this is Jagab and I'm right here today on Desi Express talking about my brand new single Until the Sun Comes Up featuring Nelly and the main man Abhishek Bachchan. The Search for Marshall. Everybody put your hands in the sky. Everybody hands in the sky. Guys, welcome to the Serge Kumar Show, and with me today is UK's best import in Asian music, in my opinion, the lovely, the handsome, the talented, Mr. Can't Get Enough, Raghav. Thanks for having me, I appreciate it. Nah, nice. Nah. Thank you. Pleasure, pleasure. How are you? I'm very well. It's been a kind of a whirlwind week. Um, I haven't done a press junket like this in the UK in quite a while, so uh, it's, it's tiring, but I'm excited. It's, uh, this is a... Uh, project I never thought I would be able to accomplish in my life so it's pretty cool stuff yeah brilliant stuff now you've got um, a single out which has come out recently yeah. um, uh, what's it called Until the Sun Comes Up and it has uh, uh, Nelly a Grammy mm -hmm. award winning rapper from the United States and of course uh, the main man himself Abhishek Bachchan okay now that many people don't know that track is actually for charity wasn't it no the track is not for charity necessarily in fact the charity is just a regular pop record yeah. However, yeah. Uh, the video is very different from other videos. Instead of making a uh, pop uh, R&B video with a convertible and a booty model and we're grinding in the car, this is very different. <laughs> this is uh, trying to point out that a billion people in the world have no electricity. It's uh, myself after a show in Africa. Uh, it's a documentary. We basically take solar lights and we donate them to this uh, village, uh, to the kids and to the, uh, who are at the school and their teachers. And we just document that the joy that light can bring uh, in villages or, uh, in this case, a boarding school with uh, very little to no electricity. Yeah, I think Akon's done something similar as well. I've um, been reading up on that as well. Yeah, so I think Akon's a big part of the yeah. solar movement as well. Yeah. He's building, I believe, I don't want to get this wrong, but I think he's building uh, a learning center for people that can con contribute to building uh, solar energy and bringing it to their communities in uh, West Africa. So how did you actually get involved in you know, this project? I mean, what made you want to... You know, get involved in a project like this? Uh, touring. Uh, I've been very lucky. I've toured all over Southeast Asia. Been to every country, Bangladesh, Sri Lanka, India, Pakistan. Um, and while there's many wonderful people and there's many great things about those countries and all throughout Africa, there is uh, a reality that the poverty there is uh, become so abhorrent that uh, life's basic needs are not met. Uh, clean water uh, and electricity. Absolutely. Um, and uh, proper uh, sewage. It, it's just not being met. So electricity is something that we don't talk about. 600 million people in Africa have no light. We just wanted to highlight it, but really, rather than make it like a charity record, what we wanted to do was just say, look, this is a song that's supposed to make you happy and feel good, Yeah. and this is what we can do for a billion people who have no light or electricity. We can make them feel uh, a kind of joy that we've never been able to make them feel in the past. Okay. Um, we did that to a very small community, but hopefully people come together and do that. In so, was was that um, your idea for for Africa, or was that you know you know did you know yourself uh, Nelly uh, Obishek, or was that kind of you know uh, a wider uh, decision that was made? That was my my idea. We shot the video okay. before they featured on the record. However, Obishek's done a lot of work uh, when he was doing the Unforgettable tour. Uh, uh, proceeds of that tour were going towards solar energy. Nelly's done a lot of charity work in, in the Midwest United States and throughout the world. So uh, I think that was part of the attraction of them wanting to be part of the record. Um, but ultimately, uh, this is just about making people aware of how we can create joy in people's lives. Light. It's very simple. Light from the sun, even simpler. Okay, now everything makes sense. So I don't think a lot of people don't know the, you know, the, the, the transition of how yeah. this song is come back, why it's come back. Because obviously, you know, I was telling some of my family and friends that, you know what, Raghav done a song with Abhishek and Nelly. What? <laughs> yeah. You know, and you probably thought, you know, so 
who made the first call? How did you get Obisek on board? And you know, and then obviously Grammy Award winner Nelly. How did you get them on board? Uh, I recorded the song about nine months ago. Okay, I've done a early demo of it, and it felt like it was the third Bollywood, a third uh, Western pop, and a third country and Western kind of with the thing. No, 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 no. And I thought, you know, in terms of uh, I make pop music, that kind of country hip hop feel is something that I think Nelly invented that style of music. So we asked him to be on the record. And I thought, you know, th this does have a severe Bollywood element to it. And um, who could I get that could perform on the record as an artist, as a musician, but who also is someone who would bring uh, a real gravitas to the uh, uh, project. And uh, I know Abhishek Bachchan grew up in North America. His formative musical years were yeah. essentially in Boston because he grew up in, uh, okay. he studied there and uh, grew up in Switzerland. So he's like us, you know, he's a... It, he was saying to me, you know, 10 years ago, maybe I was more of an NRI than anybody <laughs> in the Bollywood scene. So, um, and I know he loves hip hop. And he seems like a very cool guy as well, very oh, down to us. I mean, yeah, very much. I, I know a lot of people in Bollywood. I can't say that all of them are in touch with reality. He is. He's a, a kind, talented, um, just a great human being. And, he, and he's extremely, extremely gifted at what he does. Okay. So, did you have a, how much involvement did you have with Nelly uh, on board as well? Uh, Nelly and I spoke many times uh, before the recording, during the recording. He was in Vegas uh, during the big fight, and he was recording there. I had a show. I couldn't make it to Vegas. So that day we were back and forth on the phone, and I was sitting there nervously going, I hope the verse is great. It's better than I expected it to be, because I think this is one of his best verses on a pop record in uh, quite some time. And uh, uh, he was very uh, gracious. He said, if anything needs fixing, and nothing really did. So uh, Nelly was great. For Abhishek, I flew out to Bombay, and uh, obviously I don't think he's ever recorded a rap like this before, although he did do something in a song years ago. Yeah, Bluffmaster. Bluffmaster. <laughs> um, but this is different. This is more a Western pop, like a, almost like a flow ridery flow with, with Hindi lyrics to it. And I know in the past couple of years, while I've been back in Canada, there's a, been a growing craze of Indian hip-hop. I think Abhishek's maybe better than all the guys who've done real Indian hip-hop. Like, he understands the music and the art form uh, so well. Okay. Um, now the proceeds for the track, are they all going towards this project, I believe? Is that correct? No, that's not true. The, the, uh, we we want to make really clear that it's not a charity record. Sure. We are giving uh, a certain amount of fundraising efforts going towards for Solar Aid, but we don't want to lie to people and say that, you know, yeah, this, okay. is, this is like a charity record. Or it's, it, it, that's not the truth. I mean, we, we are trying to create a social awareness we want to, the ultimate goal will be there's 10,000 schools in Tanzania that uh, have the same problem that this one school that we lit up has. We'd like to be able to do all of that. Um, we, you know, I've put a lot of my own resources into this record. I'll be hard pressed to, to re recoup that financially. Sure. So we really want when the record comes out, if people could show some support and get it. Uh, but I will be working with Solar Aid for the rest of my life. I think it's uh, uh, something that can be easily fixed. If I tell, you know, if we discuss how much it costs to light up this one school. There's no reason why a few people can't get together, a few corporations can't get together, um, other than maybe perhaps it's against their corporate interest, and light up the billion people who need light in their lives. Yeah. Like I said, I watched a documentary um, on it, and it was a bit of an eye because simple stuff, uh, stuff like street lights, people couldn't go down the street or down the village because there was no light, you know, let alone in schools as well. So, you know, I think it's a... Uh, a feel good factor as well and people feel a bit more safe uh, and they know they got light so you know we take it for granted here it's everything it's yeah the, uh, uh, we went to a Maasai village where we gave away 325 lights there was a Maasai village with about 50 60 people in it they had one light smaller than any one of the 325 we gave out it's the center of their social settings it's the center of their agriculture it's the center of anything important that happens in the village happens around that one solar light so um, I, you know, I've just been traveling all around the world and I, I've seen so many great things and this is one of the things that I think uh, you drive by uh, a slum and you think, how can there only be one light bulb for what's happening in there? Try, you know, try living in the dark for 24 hours. It's not only uh, difficult, it's depressing and um, it's something that can be easily fixed. Okay. Now, um, what's next uh, in terms of obviously moving on? Forward, obviously, you know, great tracks. You've had, you know, many top ten hits. You know, my favorite, can't get enough. Okay, uh, Angel Eyes. Uh, are we going to see more of that coming through, yeah, or, yeah. or are we going to see something different? 
Well, this, I mean, this is, like I said, we're, we're hoping to get this, uh, uh, we're hoping to make it go around the world. We think we're going to have a chance to put this out in the United States. Um, after this is a record that I did with a producer named Steel Bangles. And I think for people that love the Storyteller album, it's almost like a hidden track from the Storyteller album. So I think that these two tracks are going to say here in the UK to the, to the mainstream media um, and to our community, hey, are we ready for another movement where we can put people back in the chart again, where we're not simply just part of a South Asian scene, but we're part of something much bigger than that and we're inclusive. Um, I'm hoping that uh, this year we can almost have the kind of momentum that we had around the time of uh, Goodness Gracious Me and uh, you remember when it? <laughs> Rich Rich Project was out and when I, my record came out. I feel like that's been missing here for the past couple of years. And I think it's good for every uh, uh, South Asian person in the world uh, if the UK leads All that. Right, cool. All right. That's enough of uh, the music scene. I want to get to know Raghav on a uh, personal note and his likes, dislikes. So, all right, I've got a bit of a rapid fire round for you. Okay. All right, are you ready? No. Fingers. <laughs> all right, okay. What's your favourite sport? Ice hockey. Ice hockey, okay. Favourite place to eat, Nando's or McDonald's? Oh, Nando's. All the way. I, 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 I dislike McDonald's. <laughs> okay. Do they sponsor your show? Because <laughs> if they do, no, tell them, I no, hate they McDonald's. Don't. Okay. Uh, your own favourite track that you've recorded? Uh, Ain't Nobody. From the first album. Okay, okay, good, good. Favorite Bollywood movie? Shakti. Uh, the, not the new crappy version, the old uh, Amitabh classic Bachan. Amitabh Bachan, the Deep Kumar version. Yeah. Okay, interesting, interesting. I like it. Who, by the way, uh, 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 Mr. Amitabh Bachan tweeted about the song today. So if, uh, I look uh, quite excited by that, it's because that's like a dream. The fact that he knows who I am is pretty surreal. That's brilliant. All right, if you could. If you're in a career, you weren't singing. Yeah. What would be your profession if you weren't a singer? I, pr I mean, I'd probably be homeless. I've never wanted to do anything else except make music. So for me to even, I mean, I'd probably be involved in sports if I had to give you an answer. But uh, generally, I would, uh, I would suffer to think of doing anything outside of music. Okay, okay. Someone you'd like to collaborate with that's been on your radar for a while? I've been really lucky. I think uh, two of the biggest uh, and best musicians walking the planet I've worked with, Labyrinth and A.R. Rahman. If I have to maybe work with somebody else that I would put in that league, it'd be Quincy Jones. Okay. Good, good, good. Okay. What makes you unhappy about the British music scene, the Punjabi music scene? Uh, the Punjabi music scene? Yeah. Uh, a, a lot of it sounds too, too much the same. Okay. Good, good. Okay. And for the ladies, this one is. Yeah. Are you single or attached? I'm unfortunately single and I'm, uh, um, I need to fix that soon. <laughs> Ask Bobby. <laughs> Ask who? Ask Bobby. <laughs> matrimonial site. Oh, is that a matrimonial site? Yes, it is. Oh, really? I didn't know that. Yeah, does, there you go. Does that help? I don't know. I'm married. <laughs> oh, you're married? Oh, I'm married, yeah. I'm, 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 you know, I'm taking there. See? Okay. Okay, and... Um, I, I heard married people go to ashleymadison.com. I don't know about that. <laughs> okay, and your favourite place? Canada or UK? Uh, for uh, culture, uh, music, life, the UK. But my family's in Canada, so um, as much as I love being here, I want to get home and see them as well. Brilliant stuff. All right, guys, uh, I'm in conversation with the lovely Raghav. Um, his new single out, Until the Sun Comes Out, is available. So download legally. Uh, Raghav, a few words before we go. Thank you. First of all, thank you to you. Thank you, everybody here at the, uh, uh, at the Express. And thank you to all the fans out there who've supported me all over the years. It's very kind. I've given you every reason to forget about me the past <laughs> couple of years. And uh, let's have a great movement. I hope you love the new record. I hope you love Abhishek Bachchan. I hope you love Nelly on it. I hope you love the video. And thank you very much. Brilliant stuff. Guys, I'll see you soon.